Hey, what's happening, you one, Sir James, coming at you guys with another video. In today's video, I'm here to bring you guys some um, open beta for a game called The Lawbreakers. Um, pretty much the best way to describe the game, maybe in a kind of way, is uh, a lot of people are saying it's a little bit more like Overwatch, but a bit different. I don't really play Overwatch too much, so I don't know if that's a proper comparison. I do see some similarities, but also its own differences at the same time, if that makes any sense. So pretty much kind of go over is the game mode. I don't recall the game mode by name because this is like my third match that I've played on. And this gameplay overall turned out pretty good. Uh, but this is more of a, a capture the flag type scenario where in the center you have a sphere, a ball, that goes into play. And the objective here is to get the ball and to bring it back to your opponent's side to score. So it's not bringing it back to your own goal, it's going towards the opponent's goal. And of course the opponents have to do the same thing. They have to try to get the ball and then they have to go into your spawn area to score. So of course you're going to notice that some areas are going to be well defended compared to others. Now the class that I'm going to be playing as throughout this entire match is a medic based class. You're going to notice some icons on the left hand side. Uh, starting off with shift. Shift is more like a, uh, a jetpack sort of maneuver. Allows me to kind of glide and maneuver around the battlefield a little bit quicker because my character is a bit slow, but not as slow as like a juggernaut, for example. Uh, the icon located in Q basically allows me to set up a defensive perimeter, in this case, like a sphere like shield, which is only going to be temporarily. And you're going to constantly see me uh, pressing the E icon. The E icon is basically allowing me to use my ability as a medic. So, right there, I just use my special ability which is for defensive purposes. But me constantly pressing E every time I look at a teammate and press that, it kind of gives them some drones to help heal them in combat. So when you're playing a mode like this, it's nice to have a medic because you need to keep the ball carrier alive. If the ball does end up dropping, you have to wait a short amount of time before you can pick up the ball again. This not only corresponds to you, but also the opponent. But what I like about this medic class here is that this medic actually has a grenade launcher, so it's good for a little bit more of a mid to long range combat here. Um, but for me, I'm the type of player that likes to get to mid to close range, so the medic class isn't technically the best, but seeing as no one else was also going to be the medic, I figure, you know what, this is kind of a good way to score some easy points to level up my character, and of course to also get some loot boxes at the end. Now speaking of loot boxes, uh, every time you rank up and stuff like that, you actually can get loot boxes, and you, when you open them up, you have a potential chance to get like some rare or ultimate items. It could be like a, uh, a skin for your character or a weapon. There's actually a wide variety to choose from. Let's see if I get this character. So as you can see, the meta class isn't completely useless, so not only can you provide healing abilities, but it does pack a punch. But keep in mind that if you're going to be surrounded by multiple enemies, it's not going to work out for you. Now, if you're also wondering, can you heal yourself as a medic? Unfortunately not, you can't issue a drone onto yourself. But what you can do is there's actually uh, a couple things, kind of like Unbro Tournament, where there's like the health orbs that you can pick up. There's that in here. And of course, on top of that, there's also a healing station that you can go and stand by to heal yourself as well. There's actually one towards the bottom there. You actually see me use that hopefully a couple times in this video. But right now I'm just kind of hovering and going back and forth, back and forth, seeing what I could stagger and of course who I could heal at the same time. Uh, now another cool factor is that if you actually go towards like the center of any of the map, you actually have uh, basically gravity turned off. So you're going to be able to jump really, really high and of course also kind of maneuver down quickly too to certain sections. So you can also use that towards your advantage. So again, when you're inside, gravity works just fine, but when you're outside, there is absolutely no gravity. So over here, uh, we did end up scoring. We're actually dominating right now with three to one. And the ball is going to be in status in about one second. So now the ball is available for pickup. So that's one thing um, with this grenade launcher is that it doesn't pack a lot of ammo, but as long as your shots are hitting, then this is where it's going to make the biggest difference. The one thing that you do have to watch out for is that there's some of the melee based classes that are a little bit close range. So you have an opponent coming over here, which as you can see, our, my teammate managed to stop it just in time. So now I'm going to go ahead and follow my teammate here. 
uh, over there is actually a medic station. Now it's to the front. But thankfully we took that player out. Make our way over. Provide another healing station. And of course, if your players are actually full health, you can kind of give them an extra portion of health. Kind of like a bonus shield, if you will. So I went ahead and kind of used that little defense grid just kind of uh, as a way to kind of get out of that situation. Which, fortunately, I didn't really need to if you think about it because my teammates showed up just in time. Alright, so now the spawn, the ball has popped in play, but as you can see, the person who's using the gravity to their advantage by lifting themselves up to try to get a better viewpoint for getting some shots in. But there's actually a wide selection of characters too. There's actually a character that's pretty much like an exact copy of Tracer from Overwatch. You also have some Juggernauts uh, in here as well that are pretty slow but pack a lot of health. Of course I'm going to get dominated here because I was just way deep into enemy territory. But I was trying to do some damage so that way my par my uh, not parents, my teammates could actually um, take them out as they get closer. So right now at this point we are currently standing at a 4 to 1 scenario. But like I said, the, the medic class is actually very good. If you're looking for a way to kind of level up very quickly, uh, then this will be a, definitely a proper way of doing so. Uh, but you're going to notice there's uh, red blocks there. That's actually another person's special, or not really special ability, but uh, they could uh, basically release blocks. There's, a, a, again, another character from Overwatch where you have like this big shield that you could use. Kind of works the same way, except it's not a mobile one in this case. But I don't know how long the beta is going to be going for, but if it's still going, I do recommend you guys check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to let you guys enjoy the rest of the uh, video. And let me know in the comment section down below, have you guys uh, downloaded the beta? Have you been checking it out? But if it's something you're interested in, let me know in the comment section down below. I mean, for me, I'm definitely interested in this game. It's actually a lot of fun. There's a lot of diversity with the characters. And um, I think there's going to be plenty of game modes to kind of make it a little bit more unique compared to Overwatch, uh, which hopefully won't end up uh, getting uh, you know, boring as quickly as possible. Uh, actually, it's, I think at this portion I got lucky and I kind of stopped the player at the last second. Oh, never mind, it's not this portion. It should be a little bit later on. But you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Enemy falls. 
I'll patch you up. Run, I'll blow you up. Enemy fall. Well, I did warn you. Thank you. 